Praise God, brothers and sisters. Pastor Catherine from the Pastor Catherine Mother's Show and Mom, Moments of Miracles Ministry. And today, you know, we are blessed because God allowed us to talk about tithes and offerings. Some people agree, many did not agree. But I love the fact that God has us revealing his word is truth and not man's tradition amen read the scriptures for yourself and when you don't understand what's going on in scripture you have a comforter inside you that gets stronger and stronger the more you read the word and he will help you or he will send true men and women of god to help you interpret because again there have been men and women that have been studying parts of scriptures for years, not because they want to, because the Holy Spirit guide them into all truth. And that was their jobs. Amen. So I'm going to turn to Acts 20, 35 from the NASB because this is June and, you know, we had Pentecostal Sunday and I'm just going to follow up a little bit on this. And our theme is going to be is more blessed to give. Remember the word of the Lord Jesus, Yahshua, that he himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive, Acts 20, 35. Something happened when we give, and the results can be surprising. Charles Darwin, in fact, was so surprised by the impact of giving that he is said to have questioned his own findings. As a developer of the theory of evolution, Darwin believed in survival of the fitness. His beliefs were that ultimately we do everything for our own benefit, but he could not doubt the impact of giving. This seemed to defy logic. Why, he wondered, would people willingly give away their own possessions? And why were the results so beneficial? Many studies have confirmed scientifically the impact of giving. One recent university study concluded that when people give, they want others to have a good opinion of them. Similarly, another university study, eight 46, 846 people to see the impact of giving. After 12 months, those who helped someone else showed significantly less stress than those who had not. Continuing to monitor these people, five years later, the conclusion was that giving prolonged life. Yes, giving can reduce stress and lead to longer life. I am not talking today about the Old Testament tithes and offerings. I am talking about seed time and harvest. I am talking about giving from your heart and how great it feels. This is my testimony. Brothers well, and sisters, I just want to say I should have lost my house a long time ago because I really truly gave up on paying these bills and just dealing with the stresses of having a house. You know, many people think, you know, a person that has a house is rich. We're not rich. Many of us struggle. You had to pay electric, gas, water bill, you know, and then you need the comforts of having a telephone. Why? Because if an emergency happens, how are you going to get it help? Amen. So these are the necessities that we need. And I just want to share how greatly God has blessed me. That I've been living in this house for 33 years. And um, but through the good times and the bad times, I see God's hand in the matter. So this is my testimony for you on today. I'm giving you three. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord.
I'll never stop telling the story how my house caught on fire and after not finding money, um, I had two hundred dollars at place in my kitchen and it'd been there for over two years. And the day that my house caught on fire, I went in the book and I found the two hundred dollars. I went to the chaplaincy program and a woman was there it was only three of us. They had um called people and let them know they weren't having classes that day but three of us didn't find out until we got there and it was a blessing for somebody because this one woman had lost two hundred dollars from her um job and she was concerned about losing her job and I was just concerned that I had just lost um a place to live and I just felt the need to bless her. Why did both of us have to be stressed out is what I felt. And I gave the money. And I tell you, God bless me. From that $200, I received $2,000 later on from the bank. Um, didn't have to pay it back. Uh, my insurance was good on the house. And it took care of all the house needs. So I tell you, it is good to give. Um, there's nothing like it. The feeling that I had when I was driving my uncle to court in Brooklyn. And on my way back, my car stopped because I didn't have enough gas and had no money. And where it stopped at, there was three... Homeless people, I didn't know they were homeless at the time, but they were homeless and they helped. They came out of nowhere and pushed my car to the side. And I asked them, I said, um, is there a gas station around here? And they said up the block. I had just passed it, didn't even notice. And I said, boy, I don't have any money. And I'm going to have to try to get gas on credit. And they laughed at me. That person, they don't give no gas for nothing. And I said, yeah, well, I trust God. And they said, well, if that man give you gas, we'll go to church with you. And when I got there, guess what? That man gave me a dollar worth of gas, which got me back from Brooklyn to Queens. And I came back and I took all three of them to church and they gave their lives to Christ. And I tell you, that was the best feeling that I ever felt. It is better to give than to receive. Recently, my friend, you know, came over for my birthday. We were going to um, view a friend who passed away. And again, I tell people, you know, I, I don't go to funerals. I'm going to miss my own. And yet, what happened, I donated a little bit of money to um, a young man who's trying to raise money to get a uh, bass. You know, he plays this big instrument. And if you go on Catherine Weather's Facebook page, you may be able to see, um, because I'm asking people to donate money to Wayma Harris, or you can go to her Facebook page um, and give money to this talented young man who needs a new base because, he, of course, he done got taller, he done outgrow it, you know? But my friend was able to say, somebody gave me a birthday card when I opened it up. Inside was a check. And it's so funny. The same amount that I had given to the young man was the same amount inside this envelope. And I was surprised that my friend said, wow, look how quickly the return you gave for somebody. And it came right back to you. So I just want to share that. God does bless you. I don't look for it, but it does come unexpectedly. Amen? It is better to give.
The Bible simply tells us that it is more blessed to give than to receive. This theme runs throughout the Bible. It is expressed through the principle of seed time and harvest, which will last as long as the earth remains. Genesis 8.22. We talked about that years ago. And it's important that each one of us understand seed time and harvest. I want you to go back and look up our video on seed times and harvest. Amen. It also read Genesis 8.22. Okay. It was taught by Joshua when he said, give and it will be given to you. They will pour into your lap a good measure, pressed down, shaking together and running over. Luke 6.38. This principle applies to every form of giving, our time, talents, and resources. Do you want to experience more blessing? Apply the Bible promise. Give. Sow into others with the seed that God has given you. Give out of a heart of compassion. Expect him to pour out his blessings on you. My prayer for us today is, Father, thank you for all that you have given us and me. Open up our hearts to see opportunities to give. Thank you for blessing others through us. In Yahshua's mighty name, Father, we thank you for the resources of Moments of Miracles Ministry which can produce more life-changing program or just more life-changing videos. In Yahshua's mighty name, amen, amen, and amen.